Uh, look you guys, I finally added some decor right there. It's actually a PR box and it's so cute! Hey family here! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where we will be doing a triple-ish, quadruple-ish wear test of the entire Too Faced Born This Way line. They actually invited me to their event, their cute little shade matching event that they had going on in San Francisco. It was actually at the same exact location that the Joey event that I went to like back in March was at. It was very low-key, very cute. They were just shade matching us to their foundation, concealer, powder, setting powder, and then there was cocktails, there was bakery items because it was at a bakery. I got to see my good girl Maggie that I've known for like years now on Twitter and Instagram. It was really cool seeing her. That was actually my third brand event that I've been to and got invited to this year, and I'm just so grateful that I am being discovered by these brands, discoverable enough to be invited to their events out here in the Bay Area. So they matched us and sent us home with quite a few goodies and I want to test them out today. The Born This Way line is not new at all. They've had this line. I've actually tried the Born This Way foundation before but the shade match was too orange so I got a better match today which is a little bit actually too light right now because I do have a bit of my summer tan still lingering around. So I'll actually go ahead and mix that in with the shade I've already had that was a tattoo orange. So without further conj, if you are interested in tuning into today's triple quadruple-ish wear test of the Too Faced Born Born This Way line, then subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. Tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads. <laughs> and will you tap that bell and I'm sure <laughs> pop up? Click on options and ensure all notifications are enabled, including my creator posts. And stay tuned to keep on watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> So I'm getting a little bit of a late start to this wear test. It is currently 4 p.m. Shout out to my wallpaper, manifesting money, wealth, and opportunities into my life, amen. <laughs> so uh, by the time I finish, it'll probably be like 5 p.m. So we'll start the wear test from there and like I'll check back in at like midnight. So we have the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. I got matched the shade Praline. I've had the shade, I keep calling it Butterscotch, but it's Butter Pecan. I've had this but it's just entirely too orange and this is slightly too light right now just because of my beautiful summer tan so i'm just gonna mix these two together today and i've been wanting to try this concealer because the bottle is just so big the wand is so thick and it's almost the size of a foundation it's their born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer i got warm sand and golden beige and then they have their born this way multi-use complexion powder which they said was a foundation powder i got the shade latte and then lastly we have their born this way erythral setting powder i have translucent medium i kind of wish i would have realized it was translucent medium so i could get both this and the lighter translucent shade so i can you know set my under eyes but we'll just use this to set the rest of our face and i'll just set my under eyes with my huda beauty powder all right so i just went ahead and primed my skin with this derma blend insta grip jelly primer so we have a nice tacky base and fun fact the born this way line like all of them right yeah, all of the products are infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. So that's pretty cool. So it's a hydrating foundation, right? Yes, it's a hydrating foundation. I always thought this wasn't a hydrating foundation, but it is. It says it on the box. Okay, and then now I just realized that lighting in the bakery was... It was not lighting for shade matching because I just realized this foundation powder is way too light. This is what latte looks like, but I guess I could use this for like under eye brightening. Not my whole face, but it's okay. It's not really a big deal. But that lighting, honey, that was not made for shade matching. And I had brought my own foundation, the Fenty Beauty one, so they can match me. So that's how they matched me to Praline, but then they were kind of guesstimating my concealer shades and I wish they would have just let me figure that out. But you know, it's okay. <laughs> And this is the bottle of the concealer compared to the foundation. Like the concealer bottle is so big. We're just gonna mix in one drop of Butter Pecan, which is the shade I already had, to like two drops or two pumps of Praline. So that's Butter Pecan. It's just a tad more orange. If it matches the back of my hand exactly, then it's gonna be too deep for my face. And then we'll do two drops, or maybe even one. We'll just do one of Praline. So Praline is tad lighter. Gonna mix 
place those two together. Oh, you know what? I did want it to set my, okay, hold on. Before we, apply, let me just mix it on the back of my hand. Before we put this foundation on our skin, I am gonna take a little bit of the medium translucent powder and just powder like my nose and my chin because that gets oily the quickest. This is the color of the medium translucent powder. Very yellow, very good for our melanated queens. I'm just going to take a little bit of that powder and just set like my cheeks, my nose, my chin, where I put primer. And this also helps you not use so much foundation in this area so you don't crease. And it also just makes this area look like butter. I mix it on the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. This looks perfect. I guess I just always gotta be a girl who has to <laughs> mix. I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge and let's just blend this in. Oh, yep, this was a perfect mix. I already know if I like or dislike a foundation by how it applies. And this is applying pretty nice. Oh, yeah, this looks really good. It is a bit orange, but it still looks really good. Oh, yeah, this looks so good. It's always like doing surgery blending foundation by my head wrap line. I'm not trying to get makeup all up in it. I try not to apply that much foundation on my nose, just whatever is left on my sponge, cause she can get cakey real quick. Still a bit orange, but we, we can work with that. All right, so it's all blended in. This really blended in really well. I like it. It does blend in like a dewy foundation, which I like. I love foundations that don't dry down that quick. This one did just that. Now let's conceal. Now that I look about it, golden beige, is pretty light. Let me look at warm sand again because like I said that lighting was a mess. Oh yeah warm sand. Okay cool. I was watching Jackie Ina's recent Instagram stories where she's been doing her makeup and now she's been putting flesh tone slightly lighter slightly lighter and then just blending that. So I want to try that with warm sand and golden beige. I just need a mirror. Oh yeah warm sand is like exactly flesh tone and the wand on this. Hold on let me show you all. It's just so thick like I like it. Okay Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. I was, oh, I do, I'm starting to look orange, but it's okay. I thought this was gonna be darker than me, but it's actually right on point. All right, so we're applying warm sand right there. Oh yes, I love this wand. And then we're going to apply golden beige, which is lighter. Right underneath it like that. Oh yes, this is bright, honey. She is bright. That's it. Well, I mean, Jackie Anna used three shades of concealer. I'm just gonna do two because I don't have three of the Born This Way at the moment. Okay, flesh tone right there. And then golden beige right underneath it. This just has a beautiful gradient effect once you blend it. And then I'm just gonna mix the two on my forehead and my chin. And then just put golden beige on my nose. A little bit, a little bit. And then golden beige right on top. And then just a little bit of golden beige down my nose. There we go, that's it. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my cream contour. This is the Black Opal Stick Foundation in the shade Warm Almond. And then let me just go ahead and blend it out. Y'all not here for the stick foundation. Y'all here for Too Faced, okay? <laughs> All right, that stick foundation blended right into this foundation. So, oh, let me blend that right there real quick. So that's a plus. Now for the concealer, I'm just gonna start at my my chin, nose, and forehead. And then lastly, we'll do the under eyes. I want those to sit the longest because it really does enable the concealer to provide its utmost coverage in that area when you do let it sit. Jackie, I know. <laughs> she makes several points. Like she knows complexion so well. I follow all of her tips. Oh yes, this is full coverage, but it's a beautiful coverage. Get this nose. Oh yeah, I might really like this, but we still gonna have to see how she wears. Get that forehead oh yep it just blends right in like wow that's what i love blendability don't make blending a struggle please i just can't stand products that make blending a struggle like the shit need to be easy okay all right that's all blended in i know my lips don't look at them they're ashy <laughs> now i'm just gonna start at the edge where i put golden beige and then we just work in our way up Keep the edges seamless as I go. Blend it into the cream contour slightly, not too much, but slightly so we have that gradient. Oh yeah, this blends like a dream, honey. Yes! Golden beige is slightly on the gray side, but I think some powder will correct it. This looks really good, you guys. Like, <laughs> it's just snatched. Do the second eye, starting at the edge where the golden beige is, and then just slowly working our way up. Keep the edges seamless. 
my camera don't know what to focus on because of my background, my little, my little prop right there. It don't know what to focus on. Get it together, lens. Blend the excess on the lids. I'm probably not gonna do much eye makeup today. Probably just pop on a lash, maybe even a red lip to follow this red theme. She is definitely full coverage and she looks so snatched. All right, before I even set this, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some bronzer, some powder bronzer this time. I need some lip balm quick. Quickly. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this Il Maquillage Bronzer and then we'll be back to set the face. All right, so we are bronzed. Now, first, I'm just gonna start with the translucent medium powder and set the rest of my face before I set the places in which I concealed. Just gonna put a little bit in the cap, just a little bit. We don't need that much powder. Start with a little bit so you don't go overboard like me sometimes. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my sponge and just press this and I love doing this with a wet sponge, or not a wet sponge, a damp sponge, because it just melts the powder in like butter. And your face, well, at least my face, it just still feels um, soft or hydrated to the touch. Like you just don't feel dry. And when doing this, just avoid where you conceal so you don't darken those areas. Make sure to get that jawline. Don't worry, I'll get some lip balm in a minute, okay? <laughs> Hit up them temples right above the brow too. All right, so face is lightly set now since I don't have a lighter loose powder I'm just gonna use my Huda Beauty easy bake powder in the shade banana bread I love this powder it's so good just going to just lightly blend out any lines that may have formed and we're just going to press this in oh yeah this powder loves this concealer yes everything is just coming out so seamless I love when that happens oh yeah this looks so good let's set our nose well actually I'm gonna bake my nose first press this into my chin and just a little bit on my forehead like just a tad I normally would bake my under eyes but I don't really I think I'm just gonna do a light beat today you feel me well I mean we're damn near caked on but like for my eyes we're just gonna keep those very slight and this concealer actually doesn't need much powder to set it like it kind of set itself slightly so that powder that little layer of powder I add just locked it in fully pressing this nose well while we're here let me just set my lids too or let's blend these lids out first and then I'll just go ahead and set them things all right I really love how everything's set everything looks so good I think the last thing I want to do is try this uh, foundation powder very bright so I just kind of want to like brighten up this area right here let's see how it looks because it's a powder foundation it has some coverage let's just press this right here Oh yes, oh yeah, she's very yellow. I'll just press a little bit. Oh yeah, I did brighten up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. She definitely has coverage. I've never used powder foundation for like the purpose of foundation. I've only used it to like brighten up my under eyes. Maybe I should try powder foundation all over my face and see how that goes. I just wonder how that would work cause my skincare leaves my face very, you know, tacky and moisturized. I don't know how that would work. Okay, we just added a little bit of latte right here and she looks really good maybe I'll just put a little bit on my chin too just a little bit like right there just a tad in the forehead too because I really like how this is looking I am looking snatched right now okay Too Faced I see the point you're making honey Ooh, let me clean my lips off before I even talk to y'all any further all right so that took 40 minutes so it is now 440 441 so we'll start the wear test right now but I'm still gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face makeup not gonna do too much girl I know I always say this and I pop back on camera with a full flesh but you know I'm just gonna do a little bit of some some a little bit more bronzer some blush some highlight a lip a lash and we'll be right back all right so I just finished off the rest of my face this red oh my gosh it's literally the perfect shade it's Lancome's new this is actually Lancome's new lipstick collab with Zendaya well I don't know if it's a collaboration with Zendaya I think she's just the face of this new launch but it's called rubies it's such a beautiful red like it's literally the perfect tone. It was with that PR package right there that you see. Yeah, that's what this lipstick came from. And these lashes are the cherry lashes from the Celeste Los Angeles Lash Book. Oh, girl, a tongue twister. And you can use code Aaliyah 10 to save some coin at checkout. All right, y'all, what time is it? What time is it? It is 517. Boop. 
So we will wear this until about midnight, maybe 11ish, maybe midnight. I may come back around those two times. Let's see how this wears. I actually really like it so far. It looks really good. I look very snatched, very seamless. <laughs> I look very unclockable. So let's just see how my oil protrudes through this foundation, concealer, and powder and see how we look in about seven hours. See ya. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, y'all. So it's actually one o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to speak quietly because you know my family's sleeping. So it's been like eight hours actually. The only thing that's really wearing is my mouth area, but that always wears because you know I'm a funny ass bitch. <laughs> I'm always joking, laughing, talking. So this area always wears. I know my, my lipstick is worn too, but we're not reviewing that right now. But other than that, this foundation, concealer, and powder combo looks impeccable. It looks unclockable, and I will definitely incorporate these products into my foundation routine because I love a flawless base. I really appreciate a flawless base. I really appreciate products that seamlessly blend into my skin and blend into each other very well. My stick foundation that I use to bronze tour blended into it really well my huda beauty powder set the concealer very well so i'm actually super happy with all of these products and how they just worked with each other the synergy made several points let me look into a mirror real quick y'all i done been to the casino i was around cigarette smoke Ugh, i can't stand it just instantly when i go into a casino i just feel my skin tighten the pollution the contamination honestly i look really good my nose always gets oily that's nothing new my under eyes like right where my lash line is it wore a little bit but my cheeks right here like this still looks pretty good forehead looks good cheeks look really good it basically just wore how stuff usually wears on me but just my mouth area is what is looking a little crazy nose is a little oily but you know that's expected but other than that, listen, this shit low-key gets a 10 out of 10 from me. So I would highly recommend checking out the Too Faced Born This Way line, the foundation, the concealer, the powder, the setting powder, the foundation powder. So if you enjoyed this triple, quadruple-ish wear test of the Too Faced Born This Way line, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here <laughs> and this is the first time being on my channel and seeing my face, I would love to see you in the next one. Subscribe to my channel and join me and the honeys, honey. I love you guys so much. And until next time, always remember <laughs> to serve, honey. And I will see you in my next upload. Bye.